What's up guys, KOB here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Now today, as you can see, I am playing some more Hitman and I will be tackling and chasing a ghost. Now I'll be doing a zero mastery as per usual. And if you go on to enjoy this video as well as enjoy my content in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as turn on notifications to be notified when I upload next. But without further ado, let's jump into it. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately. The elusive maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. All right, so let's go ahead and get it started now. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to head into this building. Um, I do want to say that this route does have some tight timed points um, with just routes. Like, realistically, like it's not in terms of, like, not that tight in terms of, like, oh, you're not going to be able to get it. Um, it's just more so, it's tight in terms of, like, you'll have to do a little bit more waiting if you miss your opportunity, I guess. That's basically what I'm going to say there. Um, but we're going to head on in, grab that crowbar, open that door. Now we grab the crowbar because we need a non-lethal, um, non-lethal knockout item. And we're going to head on up here and help the Kashmirian by go ahead and adjust his scope. Um, he is looking at the a little painting room where Dawood is getting a portrait painted of him. Um, so we're going to go ahead and help him out in that front too. We're going to um, help him get his scope settled. Uh, we're, he's gonna he's looking somewhere, so we're going to put the target where he's looking um, and basically assist him in every way possible to get this kill. Um, that way we can eliminate our target, but not with us actually doing it. So, um, But we're going to head on out down those stairs and jump over this wall here and make sure you hang right here because this guard does have some left head turns you see right there um he can spot you if you're on the left hand side of those boxes uh use your instinct to watch for this lady to turn around and get your silence pistol out once she crosses that right wall line shoot the camera she's going to think the bullet is upstairs and head upstairs we're going to go ahead and take out our coin while we're waiting. And once she starts walking away, press up against this planter's box and throw a coin to the left of those boxes. Uh, this will get the security guard to go over there. Take out your crowbar. And once he has his back to you, throw it at his head. And go ahead and uh, take his disguise, his uh, key card. Uh, you don't have to take his gun if you don't want to. Um, it's not really necessary. But... Go ahead and dump his body inside of this dumpster. And like I said, take his disguise as well because you're going to need it to get into the building a little bit easier. Use the key card on this key reader and head on inside. Now this is the first uh, tight time spot. Um, realistically, it's not the 
tightest of timings uh, because it is still possible if he turns around. But so you see there, the guard did turn around. I can still shoot it. Just got to get cover so he doesn't spot you. So because uh, when you shoot evidence, if guards see you soon after, like literally soon after, they will like just instantly uh, know it was you. Um, there's no like wind up to the detection. It's literally spot you. You're the one that did it. Like that's it. Um, so um, climb up that elevator shaft and head into this room. This is where the painting is happening. Wait for this guard to stand up. He will give you his back. Go ahead and knock him out once he does. And go ahead and throw the uh, crowbar at the uh, painter. Go ahead and pick up your crowbar. Disguise yourself as the painter. Drag his body into this... Um, into this closet. And then head on out. We're going to hide the guard body, but we're going to hide that later. But we're going to head on out. These stairs to get Dawood to come down to us. And... Hello, there we go. Um, he's just standing right there, yelling at everyone, telling them to get off their ass and uh, get to work. But now he's going to head down here, but he's going to admire some paintings on the way down. So that gives us enough time to clean up this room. So pick up the guard's gun, go ahead and drag his body and dump him inside of this closet as well. Now, like I said earlier, the Cashmerian is kind of lining up sights on this, on this, uh, portrait area and he is right there hello mr cashmerian but um we're gonna go ahead and set up and start blending in uh because we got the room all cleaned up and we're just gonna wait for darwood to come in here like i said he is admiring a painting out there and like i said it gave him gave us more than enough time to finish cleaning up the room uh, make sure you do pick up the crowbar because you're going to need some kind of non-lethal later um, granted, you do have an opportunity to pick up another one, but having one already works too. Um, but Dawood is going to come in here. Now, we have to sit here and stay blending in the entire time because he, the Kashmirian basically takes his precious time taking this shot. Um, not sure why he takes so long, but he does because like he was already lined up and we adjusted the scope for him so it's literally just a matter of pulling the trigger but um he just takes so long to do it so we just gotta wait um but once he does we're gonna go ahead and stop blending in and go out that door so it's just a matter of waiting now there's an audio cue um 47 will say uh lift your chin up or something like that and that will be the cue that you would hear when that casmerian takes the shot so Sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? Okay, go look up a bit. That's the that's the 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 audio line that Hitman said that 47 says. But like I said, we're gonna head out this back door and basically go the way we came uh, to come back to basically exit. Uh, go on down to the second floor. Um, you could technically go up to the first, go down to the first floor. I mean, um, but that one is definitely more risky. Uh, that guard is turning around, so that's kind of a perfect timing. Um, if he's not, just wait for him to turn around because you are technically trespassing as the painter here. Um, head on back out, like I said, the way you came, and go down these stairs. Uh, we're gonna go out this front gate instead, and um. You may have heard Diana saying that the Cashmerian is on the move. Um, that's basically him going to set up shop at a different spot in this building to uh, line his sights up on Vanya. Now, uh, we're going to head out um, and walk through this walkway. We're going to go ahead and set up Vanya for him as well. Um, there he is. He's the enforcer. He's going to set up shop on this side of the building to look over at Vanya. Uh, we're going to take a left here and head all the way to the end of this walkway. Um, there's a little, like, trench area over here that we're going to drop into to get access to Vanya's little uh, slums area, I guess, um, because every other little entrance point is covered by guards. Um, that is Dawood's body being found, but um, since it wasn't you killing him, um, it does not affect your silent assassin because it's technically classified as an accident kill. I'm not sure how that works out, but I'm not going to complain. Um, but here's your opportunity to get a second, uh, get a, a non-lethal item if you didn't already have one because you are going to need it here. Um, but once you come up here, uh, go ahead and use your instinct to watch where this guy goes. He's going to go out onto the balcony. Once he does, head on out and go ahead and head in. Crouch 
make sure you stay left because this guy can spot you. Um, I kind of was a little bit um, far out for that one. But once you knock the guy out on the balcony, take his disguise and head down the stairs. Um, that guy's having some um, reverberation going on. Um, but I'm going to head downstairs and go through this back door. And we're going to head around to the opposite side of this laundry area. Um, because we need to talk to this guard that's leaning. Uh, right now he's currently busy because um, the game wants him to talk to him. So we're going to dismiss him. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and talk to him once we are able to. Alright, now he's going to call Vanya to come meet with us. The meeting's going to happen on this bridge. Normally he would escort you, but um, I know where I'm going, so screw the escort. I'm going to just go there. He's going to be a little upset about that, but it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not going to be here long enough for it to matter. Um, but now we're going to wait for Vanya Shaw to come. Um, it'll take her a little bit uh, to get here. Um, I think it's like a minute or so to get here. Um, but there is a little bit of comedy in there in this side of things because Vanya's personal guards, um, even though she is walking, she's walking at a slowish pace. Like she's not moving it quick at all. But for some reason, her guards just could not keep up with her. And um, near where she gets up to the top of the bridge, uh, you can basically uh, watch the instinct of her guards running in after her, which is like it's hilarious to me um, because it's like, how the fuck do you not keep up with her? Like she like I could literally went I could probably have went down there and killed her on her way over here and hit her before they even noticed because they're so far behind her. So um, I'm going to step up a little bit so you can see when they actually do come in the frame on the instinct. So, there, there they are finally. Like she's halfway up here and they're finally like coming in after her, chasing her down. Like if there was like a dump spot over there, I could have been waiting at the dump spot, just shot her in the face and dumped her before they even realized she was dead. Um, but... By the way, um, it's pretty funny to me, honestly, because like this, this is some great personal bodyguard work. Like literally, let her get like I don't know, like halfway to where she needs to go without you being in there with her. But um, we're gonna go ahead and initiate the conversation with her. But um, unlike Dawood, we can leave her to her own devices, and uh, the Cashmerian will still take her out because she will still stand where she needs to. Um, because she is going to berate the rest of the people and tell them how bad of a foreman I am, even though I don't really give a shit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and head to uh, uh, set up some Maelstrom stuff. Uh, the Kashmirian is up there. He will go ahead and take his shot eventually. Um, but um, we are going to need him to set up some Maelstrom stuff, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let him be. Uh, he will do some routing, and he will make a phone call to someone that is connect it to the maelstrom and um i don't know if i kept calling the maelstrom the cashmerian or not but um we're going to go ahead and basically get set up i went too far like talking and uh, walking i can't multitask sometimes so um forgive me uh we need to go into this little alleyway um and then head this way and then uh, head on this way and then we're going to go ahead and Head on through here. There goes Vanya Shaw dying, and her body will get spotted, but it doesn't really matter because we're not the ones that killed her. And we're too damn far for anyone to really say we did it. Um, but go ahead and place a coin in that. In this area, in this vicinity, because we need the maelstrom to come deep enough so that we can take him out without him becoming an issue. And like I said, the Maelstrom, not the Maelstrom, the Kashmirian is going to go and make some phone calls. I'm going to accept this story just so um, you can have a little line of sight of where the Kashmirian is. He's still technically in his apartment right now. He's going to make his way out and he's going to make a phone call. And that's when the Maelstrom is going to go into motion. Um, so uh, we just need to uh, wait for him to get down to where the phone call happens. Um, I'll basically, like, I'll tell you when it happens. But I am going to use my instinct to spot the Maelstrom because um, um, Hitman NPCs, most of them have a pretty slow walking pace. As you can see with this guy, he's just walking pretty generally slow. 
He's walking slow. The other guy's walking slow. Pretty much everyone has a slower walking pace. Now, once the Kashmirian makes the phone call, which she is getting close to where the phone is, um, looks like he might be there. So um, once his little marker stops, that's usually a key uh, cue to when he's making the phone call. But I'm going to go ahead and look this way. Uh, you're going to see one person on a phone. Oh, there's the Kashmir, or not the Kashmir, there's the Maelstrom. Maelstrom is walking extremely fast. And um, I kind of missed where the phone call was happening. But that is the Maelstrom right there walking around. Now I'm going to force his pathing. Um, but I have to wait for him to go somewhere first because... Um, Maelstrom basically goes in the opposite direction of where I am because um, he's trying to avoid me at all costs because um, I think I think Diana touched on it earlier that he knows that there is a, a hit on him. So, um, but yeah, now that he's in this little store area, um, I'm going to go ahead and place myself in between his path to come back this way. So I'm going to go ahead and just stand here and... He's going to slow down because he has a spot. Uh, he can spot me, so his, he's going to act more natural. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just stand here and block his... Like, he's not going to come this direction. Um, he's going to go that direction now. Um, I don't know if he normally will go this direction. I haven't really paid too close attention to it. But um, since he can spot me now... But once I cross past this wall, he will start moving fast again. And that will be your cue of him being the maelstrom. There you go. He is walking fast again. And um, since I put myself in his way, he's going to go do a long wrap around to get back to his little hideout spot. Um, I guess I'll pick up a manifesto since I came in here. I kind of went the wrong way. Um, but I'm going to go back to where my coin is. Now, uh, I set up this coin here because um, Maelstrom is going to now come through this walkway to get back to his hideout. His hideout is over in this direction, um, past these guards and down in the underground area where these guys are down there. Um, but like I said, he's going to make his way back this way. And I basically just need to be out of the way so he can come this way. He's going to come through this way. There he is right there. Um, and I'm going to wait for him to spot that coin. And I'm going to basically shoot him in the back of the head once he spots it. Um, there is another way of doing this. You can do this as the Kashmirian as well and basically finish this uh, mission story as well. I will show that. Um, after this, I'm going to basically load up a autosave. But go ahead and shoot him. That's the Maelstrom dead. And go ahead and pick up the coin. Now, uh, you need to have two coins here. Um, that's the reason why I picked the coin back up. Uh, you could also pick up the coin er from earlier when you distract that guard. Um, but this uh, Tuck Tuck exit right here, this is an exit that you need two uh, coins for. Now, that's saying the mission story is missed right now because um, obviously I killed the Maelstrom. So his mission story is no longer needed. But um, you need two coins here to take this exit, which is why I picked up the coin. Um, the coin I used earlier for the security guard, I could pick that up too and have two coins already for this. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to bother you with my encroachment on your personal space. But um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up an autosave and basically show you what it's like to do this as the Kashmirian. Um, so I will start that now. All right, so I loaded up an uh, autosave, and the Kashmirian is at the phone call, actually. So um, let me go ahead and, and look to see if I can see where this phone call is at. Oh, there's the phone call right there. So um, I, like, I know the phone call is somewhere behind me. Like, I know that from previous uh, attempts at this. But now it's time to like spot where the uh, Maelstrom is because I, don't, I think it's like over this. Oh, there he is. Um, so yeah, so... Um, I'm not going to force his route because I want to see where he goes because I don't exactly know where he goes. But um, with doing this as the Kashmirian, I, I I do need to get rid of my weapons because I'm going to get frisked twice. So go ahead and drop all of your weapons in this little bathroom. And um, like I said, I'm just going to watch where the Maelstrom goes from here. I think that's him right there stopped. Um, yeah, that's like literally the one cue that he's the Maelstrom is he's the one moving extremely quickly through the map. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and watch where he goes because kind of, I'm, I'm actually curious as to where he goes if I'm not body blocking his path. 
Um, so if I'm not forcing him to go that way to basically, and I think the coin is already down, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the coin's already down, so um, just kind of want to see where he goes from here. Um, so he does that. He does the same table check. Uh, which way does he go after this? Oh, so he does go that way. Okay, so wait a minute. If he goes that way still, why, like, why? So what dictates if he comes... What dicks takes if he comes this way then? Because like I've 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 practiced this route quite a bit and um the maelstrom only came over here once and that was when I went over there. Um and I thought that was the the thing to do to force his path force his path. But now he went that way without me being there, so is there something more to it that I don't know about? Or is there something else that I did that is there something else that I did that I don't know of that I did? Um, I'm trying to remember where. Um, I'm trying to remember which person, because I'm pretty sure this person that's walking towards us right now, the maelstrom came after him. Um, so yeah, he does. Okay, he still comes this way. Okay, uh, is that just random, or is there something else that I did that forced that? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the coin so that the maelstrom can walk past without any problems. Um, because I want the Cashmerian to get spotted by that, the, to spot that coin, I mean. So. Alright, or does the, does the Maelstrom always come this way? Like, I don't, I, I'm, I'm I don't know anymore. Because I thought, um, blocking his path there was the way to force it, but now I'm not so sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and place the coin back over there. Uh, the Cashmerian. Uh, the Cashmerian should be on his way. I have the... I have the mission thing up, but obviously, um, you can also spot him by him being the only enforcer walking around outside of the one behind you. Um, uh, that is one telltale of the Cashmerian. But we're going to go ahead and wait for him to spot the coin and knock him out and take his disguise. Um, as I said, you're going to get frisked twice once you um, get in there, so that's why we dropped our weapons in that bathroom. So... Now we're just waiting on the cashmere to spot the coin. There it is. I'm gonna wait for him to walk in there. And there we go. And then we're gonna knock him out. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and dump his body. And take his disguise. Alright, go ahead and pick up my coin because I can. And then I'm gonna head on over and get frisked. Now, um, this guy right here that's standing here, he's my technically my escort to go down to see the Maelstrom. But again, I don't need him to escort me. I know where I'm going, so I could just go there without him. Uh, kind of similar to Vanya Shaw's little escort. Um, if you know where you're going, you don't have to worry about him uh, actually taking you there. So um, go on inside, head on down these stairs, take a left, another left, and take a right. Um, I'd go all the way across to the other end, basically where this purple thing is, and into this room, and pick up this key, because this is going to be our means of exit at this point. Um, head on over back to this door and get frisked again. Um, the Maelstrom is in there. He's just sitting in there waiting for me. Um, now, the only means of killing him at this point, um, at least with zero mastery, is fiber wire or choking him out and snapping his neck. So... Uh, come on in, close the door, um, come all the way to this wall. I'm going to take out my fiber wire because I'm going to kill him with the fiber wire. And go ahead and wait for him to walk past you. Because that was violent. Um, but yeah, so um, that was a lot more violent than normal. But, um, but yeah, um, you walk over here and he will walk past you because his path is to stand here and talk to you even though it doesn't matter where you're standing that's where he will go um is there more over here or something like what's going on here uh he has a gun here i could have probably used but it's probably loud so it doesn't really matter um but go ahead and exit the mission and that is that um that's mumbai uh I would say technically two routes, but they're basically the same route, um, just with a different way of killing the Maelstrom. One is obviously faster than the other, but they are both silent assassins. So um, the only thing I would say is don't screw up your shooting him. when he, If the Maelstrom is the one that gets distracted by the coin, don't fuck up your shooting him because um, 
I did that once. I forgot that they bend down to pick up the coin and I shot right as he bent down and I missed and then everyone got alerted to the bullet impact and then when I shot again I missed again because I was panicking and then everyone got alerted to a second bullet shot which meant everyone's gonna come searching now and pretty much everyone over there is a thug which is one of the NPCs of that um of that mission uh the guards basically uh the the maelstrom's guards are the thugs and they will come searching the area and um i had to quickly get them i did end up getting them on that route but um but yeah so just make sure that's the one thing make sure you actually take out the target but either way i'm gonna go ahead and end it there hope you guys enjoyed that video leave a like down below if you did and subscribe to my channel for more hitman videos